hi everyone thank you so much for joining me on my youtube channel today for this video i decided to film a makeup tutorial using all wet and wild products i wanted to try some makeup products that are affordable so i decided to go with wet and wild so if you want to see how i achieved this look just stay tuned for the rest of the video i did my brows off camera because i don't have a wet and wild pencil so now I'm gonna take these two concealers and create a base for my eyeshadow. And these are in the color medium deep and dark cocoa. I purchased two palettes in the shade Rosé in the Ear and Comfort Zone but today I think I'm going to use the Rosé in the Ear for this makeup look. So the first shade I'll be picking up is this orange shade from the palette and I'm going to blend that into my crease. Next I'm going to be using the brick shade. Now I'm going to apply this chocolate brown shimmer shade all over my lid. To deepen the crease, I'm going to be taking this dark chocolate brown shade and just apply it to the outer corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with a clean blending brush to blend out any harsh lines on the eyes. Now I'm going back in with the orange shade that I use as my transition color. I'm going to highlight my brows using this matte cream shade from the palette. And that will be it for the eyes for now. Moving on to my face, I picked up the foundation in Espresso and this is the Photo Focus foundation. It is a bit orange for my skin tone but I'll balance it out with the concealers. And this foundation dries very quickly. As you can see, I'm having a hard time blending out the foundation on this side. So you have to work quickly with this foundation. To highlight and conceal, I'll be using the same two concealers I used before for my eye base. For the highlight and contour powders from Wet n Wild, I couldn't find one in my skin tone so I'm just going to use another powder. To set the rest of my face, I'll be using this pressed powder and it's in the shade Coco. And I really like this powder. I like how it blends and it matches my skin tone nicely. Now I'm going to finish off my eyes using the two shades that I use in my transition and my crease. For my inner corner, I'm going to be using this gold shimmer shade.
So as I said before, I did not get the contour powder, the contour and highlight powder in my shades. I'm just going to apply this one by Morphe today. For blush, I'll be using this one in the shade Pearlescent Pink and I had this for a very long time. Not even sure if it's good, but just going to dab a little bit on my cheeks. And this one has a bit of shimmer. For highlighter, I'll be going in with the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And this is in the shade Crown of Your Canopy. And I really, really love this one. It's very pigmented and it's nice and smooth. For my lips, I will be taking this lip liner and it's in the shade Chestnut. And this is one of my favorite lip liners. I use it with almost all of my lip colors, my nude lipsticks. And for lipstick, I'll be using Sandstorm by Wet n Wild, and this is a matte lipstick. And lastly, I'll be taking the Wet n Wild pencil to line my eyes, and this is in the color black. So this is the finished look and off camera I applied some mascara and false lashes and as you can see all the products performed very well and I think all of them were below $5 so it's well worth your money. If you want to try any of the products that I used today I'll list all of them in the description box so you can check them out and as usual thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!